So, today uh, we're going to have a go for some pike on the fly and uh, in the river, which is a bit different. And uh, these are the sorts of flies I'm using. They're pretty big. Now, this one is quite special because it's got weed guards. I don't know if you can see that. But on the bottom, it's got a, a bit of nylon that stops it getting snagged on weeds and stuff because it's very weedy around here. Uh, and uh, I'm not using a wire trace, I'm using this uh, new stuff. Uh, I can't remember what it's called, but uh, I think it's made by Impact. And uh, it's good stuff. You, know, you have to keep your eye on it, it's not quite as good as wire, uh, but it's great because you can knot it straight to the hooks. Um, I just got simple stuff really. I've got a 7 or 8 weight rod, probably a bit light really for, for pike fishing uh, with a fly. Uh, really you should probably have a 9 or 10 weight rod but uh, it's only a river and uh, you can get away with it it's mostly jacks uh, that we're going to catch so you don't need really really heavy gear for this sort of stuff um, and an intermediate line uh, you could use a sinking or an intermediate line really uh, well some days you might even be able to get away with a floating line if the fish are on the surface but uh, yeah we're going to start with, a, with an intermediate line and we'll see how we get on
here we go. So that's it for today. Pike on the fly on the river. And uh, great fun. Uh, those fish really go well. And uh, you're connected straight to them with this, this kind of gear. And uh, they really do go for it. It's, uh, it's great fun. Highly recommend it. So cheers guys.